guys, it's Rachel from Tiramore Farms, and today I'm going to show you how to draw blood on a goat. Um, you would draw blood for a few different reasons. The major ones are to do pregnancy testing to find out if they're pregnant, or to do disease testing for things like CAE, CL, and Yoni's disease to be sure that you have healthy, disease-free goats. It's not hard to do. I know it can be a little bit intimidating, but it's actually really easy once you get the hang of it. And it's best if you can have someone show you in person. I'm showing you this video in case you don't have anyone nearby who can show you. So first, I just wanted to show you the supplies. I have um, syringe and needles. I prefer to use a syringe and a needle instead of a double-ended needle. You know, they make the double-ended needle that you can connect the tube directly to. I don't like those because they get really messy. Um, so I prefer to use a syringe and needle. And these are just 3 milliliter, 1 inch needles. Those have worked really well for me. You need your red top tubes. It's the kind you use if you're doing CAE, CL, Yonis, or pregnancy testing. You need clippers um, with a number 10 blade, and that's so that you can shave the goat's neck so you can see the vein clearly, and so you can clean the surface. If all their hair is in the way, you're not gonna be able to see the vein to, to do it. And then um, just some peroxide or rubbing alcohol just to clean the surface. So that's your supplies, and now I'm gonna show you how to actually do it. Okay, so we are here with Miss Drama. She is past her 30-day um, pregnancy or post-breeding date. So we're going to show you how to draw blood on her. We've got, it really is best if you have two hands. So we've got one person holding her because they get a little bit fidgety when you're trying to restrain them. And then I'm going to do the blood draw just using um, a regular needle and syringe. Watch it drop down right there and watch yep. it rise. This right here, you can feel it. This feels like hard muscle. And then you can feel the vein there. It, when you put pressure on the bottom, the vein will swell. Some of them pop up better than others, but you can feel the squishiness and that's how you know that you're on the vein. You got a big, fat, right. easy how vein there. this again. You got her? You want to go in at an angle like I've done here. I'm um, not straight in because you'll go straight through the vein. And then just put pressure to stop the bleeding. And then recap the needle so you don't poke yourself. And that's all there is to it. And the goat lives happily ever after. And so now we're going to put it in our red top tube. You can buy these at biotracking.com. And it will go ahead and suck in the appropriate amount of blood for the tube. And once it's done, we'll put this in the refrigerator overnight and then ship it off um, for the blood test. So that's all there is to it. Easy peasy once you practice a couple times. I also have a blog post where I have some additional tips, so I'll link it down in the description box. And I also have links as well listed in that blog post for where you can go get the supplies to do the blood draws. And then I also have links to where I send my blood off for disease testing and pregnancy testing as well. So all of that's down in the description box or you can click on the screen here as well to go and check that out. So thanks for watching. Follow me here on YouTube, subscribe, and also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. It's Tiramar Farms, both those places. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you all around next time.